you're doing welcome to this quick Mac help video in this quick Mac help video I'm going to show you how to install fonts and keep them organized in something called your font book which is where your fonts go to um, I'll show you a quick few few quick sh keyboard shortcuts as well along the way hopefully um, so this video hopefully will be of some use to you so um, as you can see by this website here I'm using a, a website called 1001freefonts.com there's other lots of other um, free font websites that you can go to and I'll put a few in the description to this video below so um, I you already know that I'm sort of looking for a modern a modern font and this is what I'm on now I'm on page four of a modern font and I've just searched this font and I want this font here called Cerebro um, because I think it looks quite nice and I'm doing a um, a project very soon in Pixelmator that I think this um, this font will sit very nicely with. So I'm just going to click the the download here. You can actually don donate to the designer because um, obviously they do it for free. So you can donate to the designer on each of the tabs. And this one is made by um, Cerebro is made by Muraka Knockout Media um, and Design. And just to give him his props and his website is. Um, michaelmuranaka.com um, and that's his website and you can have a look at that it does lots of things and I'll put the link to the um, to his website in the description below also so once you're happy with that um, I'm just gonna select download and this font will go direct to my downloads um, so it's up here so I can open it this way I can double click that's the simplest way of opening it it will also go to your downloads so it'll also go to your um, downloads folders and to wait to locate that is um, from the finder just press command N and you'll get a new finder window and then go to downloads and you'll see the font here um, now you'll see that um, the TTF version of that file that's the that's the font that you want but um, I'll show you how to do that in a minute so I'm gonna go back to this Safari in my downloads and double click it and it'll just take me to this um, TTF font here. This folder has just got another version of that um, of that font in there, but I don't want that caution heavy to load version. I just want this TTF. So I'm just going to double click it, and now we'll get this little pop-up box that says um, install font. So I'm going to click install font, and this will directly immediately take me to my user fonts. Like I said, I deleted most of my user fonts just for ease of viewing for you. I left a few in there. Um, and I'm going to show you how to um, op work with your font book in a second. So I'm just going to close that. That's in my downloads. I can delete that if I want. Now to get my font book, if I want to look for my font book, I'm going to press command space, which will give me my spotlight search. Command space gives me my spotlight search. Then I'm just going to check, um, type in there, font book and then press enter and then I get my font book so all the fonts on this system are um, so all the fonts are here there's 236 fonts as you can see um, and then my user fonts are right here and I have five of them and it just tells you the variant of the font that you've got in the little drop down there are more variants of some fonts available. You just download them or install them separately. Um, if you want to um, disable a font, just highlight it, right click, just disable um, or remove, or you can validate the font. Um, or if you have a lot of fonts in there and you think you've got them duplicate, duplicates in there, just click resolve duplicates and it will um, it will show you the duplicates so you can get rid of them. So that's really, really simple. That's the font book. That's where your fonts are stored. Um, stored. If you now go open up Word, Pages, whatever, um, Pixelmate, anything with a um, a font drop down in, that will um, those fonts will now be there. If you've got an application open, you install a font. You generally have to restart that application in order to see that font in the um, in the inspector or the drop down of any um, of any given application. So, like I said, I hope this has helped you out. I hope it's um, with the, some of the, 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 the keyboard shortcuts and stuff. It has been of some use. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Thank you.